we're looking at the wall mount of a Fujitsu mini split system, also known as the blower, the condenser, the head unit. Anyway, there are two ways to operate this thing. One is by using an app, PGL Air, or the remote control that came with it. Now, if you're lucky, your installer programmed the remote control for you. If not, then you need to set the time and date, actually put batteries in it, set the time and date, even though your unit may have come pre-programmed. For most of you, you'll have a seasonal time change. So at that point, you'll have to adjust the time. Or if the battery goes out, then you'll have to set the date and time. In order to do that, we need to slide the cover down and then pull on it a little bit more and it slides it totally off. Fortunately, Fujitsu has left you some batteries, but if you look at the little picture on the cover there, it's going the wrong way. Uh, it has you actually trying to insert the battery backwards, which is not correct. The correct way to insert the battery is the tip goes towards the flat contact and the flat part of the battery goes towards the spring. Again, the flat part of the battery goes towards the spring, the pointy part of the battery to the flat contact. Don't put the cover on because we need to access the keyboard. Now, while the keyboard looks a little intimidating, there are only five keys that we need to worry about. Starting off on the lower left-hand side is the clock adjust button. That puts us in the mode to set the time and date. Skipping over send, we see the select button and that toggles up or down, letting you go through the days of the week forward or backwards and through the time forward or backwards. To the right and above that is the next button that lets you toggle between day of the week and time. The back button goes back from time to date or from date to time. And finally, we have the send button, which sends the data to the wall unit. And why is it important to have that data sent to the wall unit? Well, if all you're doing is setting the temperature and letting it run that way consistently, then you don't need to set the time or date. But if you're looking to use the weekly schedule, on and off schedule, or the sleep mode, then you absolutely need to tell it the time and date so that it can properly operate in those modes. We start off by pressing the clock adjust button. And when we do that, you'll see that the day of the week is flashing. Now you use the select button going up and down to select the day of the week that you need. In my case, I need Saturday, so I just step back. Once you're done with that, you hit next. Now the time mode is flashing. And we're going to go again back to the select mode and set the time. In my case, it needs to be 3.59 p.m. So it's closer for me to go backwards than it is to go forward. Oh, went too far. So go to the up arrow and increase until I got it right. And then I hit the send button. Once we hit the send button, You'll hear it beep and the time and day has been sent to the wall unit. Slide the cover closed and you're ready to put your remote unit back in its cradle. And you have an instant reference of time and date just by looking at it. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, subscribe. And as always, thank you so very much for taking the time to watch.